All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is D3W Gaming, and I am doing a little bit of research, and I would like to share with you the artifact traits uh, that came out in 7.2, as well as the path that you must take for uh, the Resto Shaman as a whole. So, every, including everything from uh, 7.0 all the way up to 7.2, I'm going to go through uh, the best possible path for you. So, stay tuned, check it out. Uh, like, subscribe, I don't care, whatever. Uh, comment, let me know what's up. Let me know what I need to change, how to fix it. If you dislike it, please let me know why you dislike it. Just don't leave it there. That'd be awkward. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the artifact traits for the Resto Shaman. So, enjoy. Hello, this is the Shara's doll. Uh, this is the hammer part. You can see that this is the artifact uh, weapon itself with the traits that aren't in there. Uh, let me actually get this to where uh, where you are when you first uh, get the weapon. Uh, you get automatically get the first point, which is Gift of the Queen, uh, which is a lovely ability to use, and it forces you to use a hundred artifact and throws it into Grace of the Sea. This is basically increases all healing you do by six percent. It is the first. Uh, it is the first ability that you do get um, as you know you get your weapon so you don't really have much of a choice there uh, but really this video is going to talk about the pathing that you take uh, through the weapon and how to get this these right here uh, so we'll start off uh, from there uh, the first path uh, that you want to do so if you refer to my previous video uh, I made a shaman guide uh, for 7.15 uh, in there actually showed the uh, weapon like this and gave you the points but I'm going to just go through them again uh, up here is going to be just a link to it you go ahead and click it watch it if you want to watch it but this one's gonna be strictly artifact paths all right so we're gonna go through uh, the right side first all right so we're gonna get Buffane waves all three points in here it just increases your healing wave and your healing surge uh, all the way up to 15% when you have three points into it. Uh, next would be Wave Crash, with three points in there as well. Uh, increases the rate at which the Healing Stream Totem heals by 30%, which just makes Healing Stream Totem uh, super effective now. Uh, after that, we'll want Queen's Ascendant. Uh, direct heal criticals uh, reduce the cast time of your next heal by 15%. This is really good, especially since we want to stack uh, crit. Um, would be our secondary stat compared to mastery, but we still want to do this so we can have, uh, you know, quicker heals. Uh, we, we already get uh, mana back with the resurgence, so having just the quicker reduced cast time uh, just makes it so much better. Uh, and then that just leads us to our very first golden trait, uh, Queen's Decree Healing Stream Totem heals each affected ally for an additional whatever that calculates out to be based off your spell power over six seconds. So Queen's Decree, uh, the, probably the best uh, starting gold that you can get. Uh, from there, you have to go up the left side. So Tidal Change is a must. Uh, tidal Waves reduce the cast time, increase critical effect chance by an additional 30%. So when you, if you have Tidal, uh, tidal Waves, uh, which is from your Riptides or your, uh, your Chain Heals, uh, it just makes your Healing Wave or your... Uh, healing surge uh, super effective uh, and then this one right here the pull of the sea increases healing done by riptide by 15 percent uh, and this is where you can have or you can make your choice so if you're uh, raiding and you don't have all these points you need to go a certain way if you're doing just mythic pluses or dungeons you need to go the other way that's really up to you to decide which way you choose to go uh, for me, I went for the easy gold dragon first, so I put three points in empowered droplets, which increases healing done by healing rain, and increases a crit check by 6%, which gives me tidal pools, which Riptide has a chance to summon a totem at the target's location, healing the target for an additional whatever that calculates out to be based on spell power for the next six seconds. So it basically drops an AE of heals, and it just heals whoever is standing in there. Um, since I went with that, uh, the next point right here is going to be Ghost in the Mist. Uh, reduces all damage you take while well, Ghost Wolf is active by 3%. And another 3% every second, so it stacks up to 6 seconds. Uh, next would be Sense of Urgency. Increases all the healing you do during Heroism. Or 
uh, bloodlust depending on uh, what, uh, what race you are, uh, what faction you are technically. Uh, from there you want floodwaters and this is arguably one of the better uh, artifact traits especially for raiding. Uh, you can just get crazy uh, crit chance off your chain heals and that's basically all you're going to be doing. You're going to be chain healing your life away and then finally you get uh, cumulative upkeep. So every time your healing tide heals an ally, that ally gains a 10% increased healing uh, received from your healing tide stacking up to 7. Uh, so now you're at 29 points, you have 3 of your golden dragons and the last 5 points are technically really up to you and your playstyle. Uh, it's just these uh, refreshing currents, uh, caress of the Mo tide mother and servant of the queen. So these are just five points you need to get them any way that you want I just for me I think I went down the line uh, just to fill them out uh, but you know Servant of the Queen reduces the cooldown of reincarnation by 10 minutes after using reincarnation you take 80% less damage for six seconds so if you are prone to death and you want to reincarnate a lot you know whatever uh, that's good to have Caress of the Tide Mother casting healing stream totem reduces all damage you take per 10%. So this is you know pretty good for you know avoiding damage, and then re refreshing currents uh, increases mana refunded by resurgence by 50% when chain heal critically heals. With this being said, these two actually go you know great together: flood waters and refreshing currents. So if you're having mana troubles you know early on in your uh, leveling up your weapon, you definitely want to want to go. Uh, after you get this gold, just grab this one and then make your way up. It doesn't really matter. It's just the last five points are technically up to you. Uh, once you get that, you're at 35 points. And normally what would happen is you would fill up the flow of the tides all the way up to 20 and then call it a day with your 54 points. Well, if let's say you got all the way up to 54 points. When 7.2 was released, it all changed. You had quests to do to get to Artifact Knowledge 26. You opened up a new set of traits for you. Uh, and this was dropped down from 20 points just to 1 point. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Uh, you'll see that I'm at 35 points. And you'll, you'll also see that a few of these traits have bumped up from uh, 3 of 3 to 3 of 4. So a lot of these things are available now. And you have points to use. All right? If you had 54 points... In your weapon, you were refunded down to 35, uh, which is enough to get you three points, I think. I think it was three points or four points. Uh, I think it was four points, and then I had enough artifact power. Anyways, uh, you get refunded your points. If you are coming up on this new, then you basically have you know zero going into it. It's going to take uh, like six million artifact power uh, to get your next point, which is okay. Now the artifact power is increased. Uh, and it's four times the regular amount right now. So that's good. Uh, when this happens, you, you get your very first ability. The first thing that you want to take, and this is a must, really. Forget about all these other traits right now. The first thing you really want to do is grab Echo of the Earthen Ring. All right, so this increases healing done by 10%, uh, damage done by 10%, and stamina by 10%. It's basically the replacement for having 20 points in Flow of the Tides. So if you had 54 and you're used to having the 10% of everything, just go ahead, just go ahead and click it. It's it's, it's a no-brainer. You need it. And now everyone has their 50% healing done that you would normally have had sitting at 20 uh, points in your flow of the tides. So it's perfect. So grab that one. All right. So that's going to be your 36th point. Uh, for the other ones, it's really just subjective. Um, how I see myself playing it, how others may see, it, might be a little bit different. But for me. I would like to, you know, I wanted to fill these traits out before I went with, you know, these extra ones. All right. Um, Tidewalker increases the duration of Spirit Walker's grace by two seconds. That's interesting, but okay, cool. Uh, Pitter Patter increases healing rate, uh, healing from healing rate by 30%. So it, you know, kind of leans up within power droplets. Cool. Okay. Golden Dragon, three seconds after casting Gift of the Queen, uh, the Shard is all. Uh, cast another gift of the queen at the same location. That's awesome too for everyone stacked up. Um, so it's really not necessary for us to get these right away. Uh, so I, I feel that I think most people will agree that getting all the other points uh, is more beneficial before you get those. All right, so these are mine. Uh, these are how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. You can do it however you want to do. But for me, 
uh, I went with this. So I'm on 36 because I had to get Echo of the Earth and Ring. You'd be dumb not to get it first. Uh, but point number 37, you go back up to Floodwaters and increase that crit strike uh, to 13%. So you get 3% extra crit strike from there. Floodwaters, uh, pretty much a bust if you're raiding. Uh, you need to do that. After that, you go to Empowered Droplets, uh, put a point in there, so increases uh, another 2% for your healing range. Uh, so you also have a more crit chance, uh, which is much better than this Pitter Patter right now, uh, even though it's not 30%. So, I mean, it's good to have both, but for now, Empowered Droplets. Uh, 39, uh, Pull of the Sea, right here, uh, increases healing done by Riptide. You notice how I'm just going around. Um, from Pull of the Sea, Befane Waves, so drop down to the bottom, get this one, Healing Done by Healing Wave and Healing Surge by 20%. Uh, I like this one, even though I'm not strictly, ra I'm strictly Raider who Mythic Pluses, I do still do Mythic Pluses, uh, and I still use Healing Wave and Healing Surge a lot, so Befane Waves for my 40th point uh, is pretty good. So this is where I am right now in my current, I'm at 50 points uh, since I haven't played today, but 50 points from yesterday. Uh, so the, the final points are basically uh, what I expect to go uh, if I were to you know finish leveling my weapon. So 41 with the wave crash increases 10% for the totem heal, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Queen's Ascendance is next. Uh, the direct heal, crit reduce, the cast time, your next heal by 20%. Uh, Tidal Chains. Grab another point in there, uh, which is another 10% increase uh, the effect, which is pretty strong too. Uh, from there, everything else is you know defensive or what have you. So I did the next four points in Tidewalker just to get around to the golden. The next one would be Pitter Patter just to get around to the golden. And then point 49, I did grab the golden. All right, so the, the final few is technically up to you. Uh, if you like Caress or if you like Ghost of the Mist, it really just depends on which ones you want to do first. Uh, me, probably I'll grab Ghost of the Mist because my go-to ability that I run with is uh, Ghost Wolf if I need to get out of Dangerous Ship. And then this one uh, reduces it if, you know, like I throw down. I'm not going to think to throw down a Healing Stream Totem if I'm in trouble. I usually pop into Ghost Wolf form, so I'm going to grab this one first. So now we're at 51 points, and we are back at the max for all of the abilities and it opens up this concordance of the legion fall which is just like the flow of the tides except for it doesn't have 20 anymore you now have 50 points to go in here all right so this one is that your abilities have a chance to trigger concordance of the legion fall which increase increases your uh whatever stat that you have uh this one's reading weird is so in uh, Death Knight points uh, bug with the site, but I'm assuming for us though it's going to be uh, probably mastery, uh, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, but it says primary stat, so intellect. Yep. Um, so whatever, it's going to be by 200, 2,000 for one second. That's not even like one point in there. All right. So the next point, it's you know another few hundred, right? So by the end of it, let's say we get to 20 points. 20 points right here after 65 oh my gosh 65 billion that's crazy so we get 20 points in there we're up to 5800 primary stat all right we'll go all the way up to 35 8800 9600 10,000 right so it max it out gets to 11,800 primary stat for 10 seconds so it's a huge increase right so maxing this out is going to be Pretty, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, it's not going to be like the same kind of, you know, feel that you would get from Flow of the Tides, where you're automatically getting the percent heal. Uh, but I feel like this is a really good chance to trigger all the time, and you'll get your primary stat for a bunch. Uh, so and it's a no-brainer to get once you fill out these points. So hopefully these traits make sense to you. If you want a different path, just let me know. Uh, you know, I could be wrong, but. I mean, I've been playing Shaman for a while. This is how I would heal. I feel like these would are based technically off, uh, you know, your personal beliefs. As long as you fill out the artifact trait how you want and play the Shaman how you want, you can't go wrong. So, all right, this is it for the artifact path. Um, I will probably never see 101. Uh, that just seems like too much damn grinding. Uh, but who knows, with artifact uh, knowledge going up to 500, we could you know, be done with this by the time the next patch comes out. So who knows? 
Uh, keep chugging along. I know I will. And thank you for watching.